Hey everybody, it's Carol here and I just wanted to pop in and introduce you to a couple of new stamps that I got going on in the shop. First up, this is Big Hair. Big Hair don't care. I also wanted to point out a few things um, that are uh, a little different about my stamps if you hadn't noticed already. But, uh, but first up, I did want to show you these. Again, this is Big Hair. And isn't she lovely? Alright. So there you go for that. And then I got... Oops. This is one of my favorites here. I call this one Cuppa because who doesn't like to have a nice cup of tea, cup of coffee, cup of something spicy and uh, this one I had a lot of fun with in making some cards and there is cup of, I thought I had an example out, hold on let me let me grab that one second Well, here is an example of big hair and here's an example of the cuppa I always like to pop up my images for some reason and then on this card I copied it and then um, made them smaller in the computer and then cut them out so they both could fit on this card so there you go an example of that again this is cuppa and then I got coming up my main man dude everybody knows that dude who's funny and sarcastic cool uh, weird anyway so everybody's got that dude in their life and so you should have that dude in your stash you know there aren't a lot of male stamps out there and so you definitely want to grab this um, to fill that void in your stamp stash there and I just I just really like him now I really like oops I really like using um, dude with um, the Stampaholic or a Misty just because of all of the dark areas that we got going on here for him uh, just so you can repeatedly stamp that over but you can use an acrylic block to to achieve the same thing for him just gonna put some ink on the bottom there and again hold my paper down there we go and then I would just do it again so I can get that spot there but there's dude not mean to close dude up on there let's take him out there we go okay so I did want to explain uh, oh I got one more to show you what am I talking about hold on I saved the best for last wait a minute the last one I wanted to show you is my girl Maddie now Maddie is a she she comes as a two stamp set and the reason why I did two step two stamps with Maddie I could have just uh, made Maddie this way hold on let me get my mask all right so now I could have made Maddie trying to get her centered <clears throat> so I'm dropping everything on this side so this is how you would use the Maddie stamp you're going to stamp her face 
And then you want to go ahead and mask her face off. And right about where her eyeglasses are, that's where you're going to position the body. So right about like that. All right, ink her up. Okay. So, and that's the Maddie stamp. I wanted it so that it looks like you are looking down uh, from the top down at her. That's why her head is a little bit larger and the top part of her body is larger. And so um, that's why she comes as um, well. She comes as two as two stamps because I like to use her head as a wobble. Isn't that cute? And I like to kind of offset it. Notice how it's not straight on; it's sort of to the side. Sometimes I do do them straight on, but if I was to do them straight on, so if you wanted to make her a wobble head out of this. You would have to cut her out, and then you're going to have this this dip in her body. And when and if you were to make her a wobble head, you would see that space there instead of not seeing the space up there. So that's why I did it, if that makes any sense at all, um, to have her as a two-piece stamp set. And you also then could use the head separately if you wanted to. And if you have another stamp where the head is actually large enough, you could use another um, head from another stamp and put that on there and just kind of have some fun with that. So, um, so anyway, so that's Maddie. We got, like I said, Dude, and we got Cuppa, and we got Big Hair. These are all new stamps that are in the, in the Etsy shop if you want to go ahead and check those out. Um, so the other thing that I wanted to point out about my stamps, if you've, if you've bought any of the stamps, whether they were funky girls, not funky girls. Um, let's get a piece of white paper underneath there. So all of my stamps, what they all have in common, and there's and there's uh, there's a lot more of them than this. But what they all have in common is that they don't have a lot of details. They either don't have faces or they don't have a lot of details on their clothes. Um, and the reason why I did that is because I wanted you to be in control of completing the story that you're trying to tell, whether it's in your art journal or on your greeting cards. You know, if you buy a regular stamp, it will come with, it's going to come with, um, the details that are already on it. And now I can't even grab a stamp real quick to show you. But it's already going to come with all the details. And you pretty much can't alter it other than just coloring it or coloring it different colors. And there's nothing wrong with that. I'm not dissing other stamps. But I just like to create something different sometimes. Um, she can look so different in so many ways by adding different things to her. Or she can look so different in so many ways um, by drawing different facial features on her and so on. So that's the reason why I did it is that I just wanted to be more in control of and I wanted you to be more in control of telling your story and designing it the way that you want it to with these stamps just helping you do that but with you still having a lot of the creative uh, end part to it. So anyway I hope you like the stamp. I hope you go to the Etsy shop and check them out. Check out the other ones that are out there. And also, if you wanted to see a video on how to get your stamped images into the computer and then cut them with your Cricut Explorer, let me know and I'll definitely do that. So thanks for checking in. Bye-bye.